the worst thing is trying to get into a brand new CD. <laughs> Am I right? What has happened with the packaging of CDs? These are angry, angry people, these CD packages. <laughs> Open here. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> are they mocking me? Open here. And it's sealed with plastic. I've never seen this. It's thick, thick government plastic. I think it's government. <laughs> I've never seen it that thick before. Civilians can't buy it. And it's like, are they trying to keep it fresh? Why is it sealed in plastic? And then you can't get into it, so you're just slashing with scissors or a knife. Or, that's how you have to get into anything now. Scissors, are, all the packaging now is like that. Have you tried to buy scissors? You need scissors to get into scissors. <laughs> what if you're buying them for the first time? How are you supposed to get in there? <laughs> Batteries are packaged like they never want you to get in there. Thick laminated plastic and thick cardboard and staples like from a staple gun. And what could happen to batteries? And then try to buy a light bulb, thin, thin, thin cardboard. <laughs> Open on both ends. What do they think? Oh, they'll be fine. <laughs> Everything's all different now. The packaging, the way you open things. Toilet paper, have you tried to... If you get into a public restroom and the toilet paper hasn't gotten started yet, you're the first one there and you've got to find the start of it. You start out slow at first. Surely I've gone around once or twice. Then you go fast. Maybe the wind will open the flap. Maybe I'm going the wrong way and you go back. Then back to this way again. And then finally you find it and it's glued down. They're gluing the first flap down. Why? So now you're, you're trying to lift it and only a quarter of an inch comes unglued. The rest stays glued. So now you're pulling and you've got a five foot long quarter of an inch strip that you just keep pulling. And I don't want a streamer. I want toilet paper. This is no time to celebrate. Then you're trying to get it started, and one whole one, there's a groove out of one side, and the whole rest of the is fully intact, so then you just shove your finger across, wasting most of the roll, trying to start it anew, which never goes evenly across. Then you just start clawing at it like a wild animal. Jesus, I just want toilet paper. God, I could just... What's happened to the toilet paper, by the way, in public bathrooms? It's not even one ply anymore, is it? <laughs> it's a sheer suggestion of what toilet paper used to be. It's an innuendo, a ghost. Of, it's like prosciutto. It's so thin. And then because it's so thin and it's on that huge cheese wheel size roll, it's like a spare tire roll of toilet paper. So the heaviness of the roll with the thinness of the paper, trying to move it alone is just a, just please, if I could just have more than one, uh, one. I just want, please just give me two, no, one. I just, uh, one. 15 minutes later, you got 15 squares in your hand which equal one ply. And then they're making things easier that don't need to be made easier. You know, the, these toilets that are flushing automatically now, which I'll decide when I'm done. Because sometimes it just go off randomly. You're still sitting there. How dare you? Because then they don't go off when you want them to. You're standing up, you're just staring at the toilet. <laughs> you have to sit down and fake it out again.
then you got to wash your hands. You have no control over that either. You go to the sink. It has to see your hands first underneath. And then you, it decides how much water you need also. It gives you a certain portion. You don't know how much you're going to get, so you're like a little raccoon under there. Just... And then it decides that's enough water, and it's not, so you have to pull out and go pretend like your new hand's going back in again. <laughs> and the dryer, you put your hands under there quickly like that. And all this is to avoid germs. Then you walk over to that disease-ridden door handle and open it up. <laughs> mm. Back to that bowl of mixed nuts you're sharing at the bar. <laughs> and then you're all paranoid because your friends are waiting at the bar. You've been in the bathroom for a half an hour and you feel weird. You know, it's amazing how much time that we put thought into thinking about what other people are thinking about us, you know, when everybody else is just thinking about what we're thinking about them, you know? We are so comfortable with that uncomfortable feeling that we just, we just get so used to it. Anything, you know, if somebody's talking to you and a tiny bit of moisture comes out and lands on your cheek. You know it's there. They certainly know it's there. And nobody acknowledges it. You just keep talking directly into each other's eyes, acting like that didn't just happen. <laughs> Waiting for them to glance away just for a second so you can do that. Is that, would that insult them if they saw us wipe that away? That you don't want that there? <laughs> Why would you wipe my spittle away? <laughs> We're just anything makes us uncomfortable. Have you ever waved to somebody? You're sure it's them. <laughs> oh, there's Nancy. <laughs> oh, it's not Nancy. <laughs> Weird stuff happening inside. It's really bad when you go out of your way to get their attention, isn't it? Oh, look, there's Nancy. Nancy! 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 Darn! Oh, Nancy! I thought you were someone else. You just look like Nancy. Let's go, let's go. You look like Nancy. <laughs> or if somebody's waving to you and you know you don't know them, but you wave back anyway. <laughs> 